What's up guys, WTDN Hurricane back for another episode of my Let's Play World. And between episodes, I was busy. I went strip mining, and I also went out exploring to kill some cows. Got a lot of steak now. And you can see all my tools are new. And I got even a few more diamonds in here. And today I thought we could get our enchanting table going. So I'll get this up and running. Ha! There we go. And I already quickly set up a little room here. Just the basics for right now. But there it is. And luckily we found the peas when we went caving. So I can enchant. Now what are we going to get? What are we going to get? I'm breaking three. That's what I want. Is it good? Is it? Efficiency I'm breaking. Not bad. I was kind of hoping for maybe fortune, but two enchants on my first time is not bad. Not bad at all. So, I just thought I'd give you a little update on that. Because I made quite a bit of progress here. Full, full diamond tools and everything, so... It's coming along. Anyways, guys... Just a quick check-in, and I'll be back with something in a little bit. Welcome back, guys. WTD and Hurricane here, and I had a little bit of an issue, technical issue, with my audio on this one. So, my audio didn't record, so I'm going to try to do a voiceover narration of what's happening. It'll be close, but I did quite a bit in this episode, so I didn't want to lose all the footage. So... We'll see how this goes. Right now, I'm just grabbing some obsidian because I think it's time that we go to the nether. I got all my new gear, my, my sword, my pick, and whatnot, so I think, I think now's a good time. So I'm just going to grab some of this obsidian, and then we'll be heading on up to uh, my base. I've already picked out a nice spot. Yeah, I was just checking there to make sure I had 10. I've already picked out a nice spot to uh, put the portal kind of away from my, uh, what, what do you call it, my storage room, my bed, because I don't want to hear the constant, <laughs> I remember that, I don't want to hear the constant uh, nether portal sounds, right, so I've got that set up, I'm going to have to go up and remember to make a flint and steel, so yeah, I'm really mad though that all of my audio got lost. I, I recorded the first segment and then my computer had to reset and when it did my microphone settings went back to default so it didn't pick up and that's why everything got dropped. So if you ever reset your computer make sure you double check your mic. I didn't and I got burned on it so that sucks. Anyways just grabbing some flint here and then I'm going to go grab some of my iron because I need to make some flint and steel. There we go. Get my obsidian ready. So I've just, I've put it back here right now. It's kind of out of the way. I don't plan on building anything here, but it's still close by that it's not a trip to try to go to the nether. But ideally, I want to find a nether fortress. When I go through, I want to find another fortress so I can start brewing or whatever, but a fortress would be ideal. So we're just going to let it load. First time nether always takes the longest time, which is unfortunate, but we're almost there. Pops out of the portal. Boom. Nether fortress right there. Couldn't have planned this any better. Uh, <laughs> That's a blaze spawner up there. That's what I'm swinging away at. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the easiest way to get in right now. I'm thinking maybe here. No, not liking that. All right. Let's, maybe let's check over here if there's something. But what are the odds of that fighting another fortress like this? That's perfect. So I'm just going to quickly break in here and see what we find. Mark it with some torches so I remember where I'm at. Boom, boom. And now we go, go exploring. What are we gonna find? 
What's that down there? Just lava? Yeah, we'll go this way then. Yeah, there's that blaze spawner I was telling you about. What do we have over here? I wonder if we can get some wither skulls or something. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Oh, nothing that way. Oh, I want to find chests. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for here. Looking for some chests. And I was thinking about possibly putting, turning this into a, a wither skull farm, but the farm's not over the lava, and there's tons of land here to try to deal with. And I don't really feel like half slab and all that, so probably won't do that. Like, look at all this. There's tons that I'd have to slab. So, keep looking for those chests, see if we can find them. Not looking good here, but there. Ooh, that could be a nice spot to put, uh, put a wither skull farm of sorts. If you don't know what that is, you basically half slab the entire area so that Nothing can spawn except for stuff in the fortress, so no zombie pigmen. And then you just go around killing all the withers. So, what do we have down here? Nothing. No chests. Dang it. I thought there'd be chests here for sure. What about over... No. That's lava. I thought we came from over there, but I don't think we did now. So I guess we'll head down here. Ooh, there's a chest. That's what I like to see. Ooh, gotcha. Useless. I don't care about anything there. Wow, down again? Okay. I guess we'll go... Hello! Ow, you jerk. Alright, withered. That's nice. Oh, another chest. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, we're good to go. We're clear here. Let's see what's in the chest. More saddles. Yeah, I need more saddles. <laughs> so. What else can we find down in this little... Ooh. Some nether warts. That could be good. Well, I'm not actually brewing right now, so I don't think I need them. Wait, but I could brew, actually. All I have to do is get... Yeah, all I have to do is get a blaze rod and... Oh, hello. You want to fight? Yeah, you do? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, all I got to do is get a blaze rod from in the fortress here, and then I can start brewing. So, maybe I should go back and get that nether wart. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh. Try to get me? I got you. Yeah, so I'll take maybe these... Board just so I can set up a farm at home. Kind of need this stuff though. Good. Yeah, can't get out. Okay, what's up here then? Um, oh, there's my portal. Okay, well, actually, I'm gonna come up this way, go back to where we were over here, and then. I'm going to go a different way when I get up here. Yeah, because we came this way, went up here, and then we went left, I believe. Yeah, we went left. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go to the right then, because we went... Yeah, I'm going to go this way. That's probably for the best. Get some glowstone. I don't want to take all the glowstone, because I can get more with fortune or silk touch. So, I just wanted to get through there. And what are we going to find up here? Oh, this could be a good place for the farm. There's still quite a bit of land to half slab, but this could be, this could be all right. This, yeah, this could work. This could work. Uh, maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, yeah, there's quite a bit of land, actually. Okay, well, luckily I brought some blocks with me. I'll just go on over to this side. Dun, 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 dun. Don't get killed by a ghast. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go down this way. I hear the blazes, but I don't don't want to fight them. Oh, really? Just dead ends here? Are you kidding me? All right, fine. We'll go back then. Go down here. Hello, please. Okay, bye. See ya. Don't want to be here. Nope. Oh. Oh, no. Hello. Ah. Run. Run. Don't hit me. Ha. Oh, okay, good. Cut through here. Ooh. Good thing I looked down. And this is back to the way we came. Ah. Oh. They're not happy with me. Okay. You know what? We've got our blaze. We've got our nether wart. Let's just... Yeah, I don't know if I want to stay here anymore. I'm not going to deal with that spawner right now. I'm going to leave it and make a farm possibly later. But for right now, I, I don't think I really want to stay here. Well, okay, what's... what's okay, huh? No. Are they going to get closer? Huh? Yeah. Uh? No. Okay. Well, they don't really care. Fine. I'll head out then. I, I'm just probably just going to leave now. Because we already have the wart, the blaze powder, or the blaze rod. I'm just going to leave because we can now start brewing. Oh, the water temple we found. I can start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I, I can maybe brew up some potions and head over to the water temple or something. Oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool if I could do that. Okay, guys. So I started brewing up some glass. or Not brewing up, sorry. Started smelting up some glass. And I'm going to be getting ready to go to the water temple, but not quite yet. I think we're just going to go exploring. And I think maybe this way, because we started from there, and we've gone that way. That's where the desert and the savanna is. So maybe today we'll go this way. We'll head out onto the open seas and see where it takes us. I, I haven't gone out this way, except to go to this mountain to get some early cobblestone and whatnot. Ooh, but a swamp. A swamp could be good. It could have a witch hut. Yeah. What if I find a witch hut? Then I start uh, start construction on my witch farm. Hmm. That could be good. That could really be good. So, in my last in my last world, I played online with my friend, and my base was underneath a witch hut. And I really enjoyed that base. I made a nice automatic potion brewing set, uh, station. It was nice. Really cool too. So maybe if I find a witch hut here, I'll do it. Because it's pretty open. And it'll be easy to clear all the ground and everything. So that's an idea. But I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a witch hut here. Which is too bad. So... We'll just head on out through here. Oh, are you kidding me? Stupid lily pad. Yeah, so we'll just head out this way, maybe. Grab another boat. Good thing I grabbed all this lumber before I left. Dun, dun, dun. Take my table. And we're off again. So I'll head out this way and take a look and see if I can find something cool. Not sure what we're gonna. Ooh, that looks interesting. What is that? Hmm. Oh, dropping frames a bit. Not yeah. Not seeing any witch hut. So I'm gonna head off in this direction. Maybe. Maybe over this way or so. Hopefully, I can find something cool like a village. That would be cool if I can find a village. And. uh... If I do that, then I will for sure bring you guys back in at what I find. But for right now, I'm just going to probably cut here and, and do a little exploring off camera so it's not too boring for you guys. Because this, this is just 
sailing through water. Okay, guys, so uh, not too long after I cut there, take a look. Do you see that right there? Yep, that is a village. I can see from here that it's a cleric, and it also looks like there's a blacksmith's hut. So that's exciting. We can find out what's in that chest. Hopefully we get something good. Diamonds would be ideal, but I'll take what I can get. But looks like it's a rather small village here. Like, really small. Not sure how, uh, not sure if it goes back further and I just can't see it, but get my boat back. Okay, so let's go take a look here. See what we got. Yeah, just the well. Wow, so it is just the two buildings. That's kind of funny. There's your cleric. All right, what do you got? Hey, come here. Hey, oh, weaponsmith. Seven for an iron axe. That's not good. All right, whatever. And then this is just the cleric. Yeah, that and the gold. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have in here? Nothing. What? No. Okay, but the chest. Haha. -ha. Great. Would have been good when I was starting out, maybe, but I've kind of passed all that stuff. And guess what, guys? I may have forgot my bed. Yeah. So, what are you guys going inside? Why, uh, why are you guys going inside? Because it's nighttime? Yep. So, I'll do a little bit more exploring here at nighttime. See if I can maybe find something cool. And I'll tune you guys in if that happens. Okay, guys. So, not very much after I cut from the last clip. <laughs> Look at that. Another village. Uh, I don't know how big this one's going to be. But I'm looking for another blacksmith's hut. I don't feel like doing anything with villagers right now. So probably not going to uh, try to farm these guys or anything. But let's see what we got here. Actually, I should block these guys in, to be honest. Because it's nighttime and the zombies are going to... Wow, good, good stuff. The zombies are going to come, so I should just block this in. So I got that one. What's this guy? Oh, cleric's here too. Leather worker. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Keep these guys safe though. Oh, yep. Okay. So, what are what are these zombies doing? What? Uh, what are they? What are they doing? Better keep this guy safe. Cause they're both trying to get through the door. They can't fit. Is that what's going on? Cause <laughs> they're just chilling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can see a guy in the corner there. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> so he's scared of these guys. So better save him though. Maybe take a little screenshot. Yeah, there we go. Wait a second. How do you get rid of... Oh, that's... Nope, that's not how you do it. Is it... Is it F1? Ah, there we go. F1, yeah, that's better for pictures. There we go. All right, well, we should probably save this guy. Ooh, potato. I haven't seen a potato yet, actually. So that's kind of cool to get. And the two villages didn't have farms. So I couldn't even steal their potatoes. So that's good to have. Anyways, back on the hunt, looking for some... Oh, don't fall there. Looking for something else that might interest you? And I'll be back in just a moment. Well, this is an interesting place for lava. It's right here on the surface in the, with all the snow. Anyways, I was trying, I've been trying to find a spiked ice biome. And I found cold tundra and I walked through it and then I found... The cold or the ice plains and then the ice mountains and the plains again so I'm thinking that there should be an a spiked ice biome close by that way is grass so I'm gonna go this way uh, and if the game follows simple logic then near the ice plains you're gonna find the spiked ice biome so it should be just over this hill 
give or take. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's just go take a quick look and see what we can see. But uh, anyways, guys, back to what I was saying earlier. Um, my buddy and I were playing on the Minecraft, uh, our server, playing together, and I had my Witch Hut base. Now, if you guys want me to do a walkthrough tour type thing for the base, then you got to let me know in the comments below because then I will do a full tour. I've got a storage room, my my potion, automatic potion room. I've got my witch farm and everything, and I've got a couple other builds. That way you can kind of see my technical side because right now it's just been pretty much the basics, just getting yourself set up, get your enchanting table, whatever. So that way you can kind of see where my redstone is and then, you know, you might like it. I also have a couple different build uh, buildings there, different variations and whatnot. So that might be interesting for you guys as well. I tried for the first time to do steampunk and I don't, I don't know if I succeeded or failed or not on that, but uh, yeah, so let me know if you want that, if you want me to do a world tour, and I certainly will. And another thing that's kind of exciting is my buddy's coming back into town pretty soon, so we might be starting up the server again. It was in the old 14W10C, I think, and if you know what that is, they changed the code so that this, um, these new snapshots don't work. So you could load up the world, that'd be fine. All your buildings would be there, but your chest would all be empty. And I had quite a bit of stuff. So we had to revert the world and that was that kind of sucked. I put I put some effort into it, but that's okay. It's not it's not that big of a deal because I can start over and I can keep going. So <gasps> There it is. There's a spike dice biome! I can't believe I found it. I knew. Oh, that's amazing. I just found one in the old server too, and it was 8,000 blocks away. It was a trek. This is pretty far too, but I found it. I found the spiked ice bio. That's so exciting. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Oh, yes. This is only the second spiked dice biome I've ever found, so this is this is really, really cool for me. Oh man. There it is. Ha ha Dang it. Silk touch. Oh well. I'm still happy I found that. Forgot about the silk touch, but that's okay. Because now, got my coordinates, I can make another portal to here, that's pretty easy. So, yeah, silk touch, dang it! <laughs> oh, I should have remembered. Oh well. So back to what I was saying about the server. Uh, we should be starting up a new world pretty soon, so keep your eye out for that. And... It'll be in the new snapshot, so we should be able to update it, and we should be able to, um, what do you call it? It shouldn't break with the snapshots, which is nice, like it did. Oh, here's another thing I like to do. I put up my coordinates, right? Take a snapshot of it, and that way I don't have to search through my video to find where my coordinates are. I just go down to my snapshots, and boom, there's a picture where I am with my coordinates up, makes it real easy to find where you were where you're trying to go so from my nether portal that's where I'm gonna be that's why I need the coordinates so I'm gonna try to find my way back home right now and I'm gonna call the episode here so let me know what you guys think about um, the world tour of my last base and keep keep looking forward to the next episode here as well as the new server me and my buddy are probably going to be playing on the new server different build styles put into one 
it's going to be fun. So definitely look out for that. And I'll see you in the next episode.